Rocky loves her. Oh my gosh. Do you love your toy? Do you love your toy? Yeah? Hello, you guys. So last night, Jocelyn and Brian slept over. We had a very great, amazing, fun slumber party, didn't we? Didn't we? She's on a mute. He's like, no. Juju's being fake right now because when the camera's off, she's always smiling and flirting. Hello. But yeah, we all had a great night's sleep and then woke up to this masterpiece, Brian at work. Brian got a head start. Look, he ended up covering the top of the wall and it looks so good. Brian, this looks amazing. Where I spent most of the morning. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Oh wow, so Brian did like a very clean border. Brian, what the heck? This looks so good. Are you kidding me? You're such an overachiever, I love it. Oh my god, do you guys see that? He even carved the wood to match the brick to fit it perfectly. Carlos is gonna flip when he sees this. Oh. It looks good now. It looks so good, Brian. Wow, you guys, that is like, Amazing and then he also put this thin border at the top to wrap everything up and then we're gonna hang the lights up there Oh my gosh Yes, it does so our wall when the builders built our wall it was uneven so Brian was like no I'll fix it so he just did that clean border at the top honestly you guys if you do this at home having a clean border Really like wraps everything up. It looks so good boys. Do not potty on the wood even though you already pottied outside. We already went for a walk, but... Rocky! <laughs> just like I just said. Oh my gosh. Hi, Rocky. Casper, go say hi to Theo. So rude. Casper, go say hi to Theo. I feel like when you guys do this at home, I definitely think the border made a huge difference. If you guys remember yesterday when I was like standing right here, the wall was like uneven. So Brian truly cleaned it up because it looks amazing. I cannot believe that he carved the wood to the brick wall on the other side and like closed everything up. He's honestly amazing. I'm gonna, li I, I obviously will always listen down below. If you guys wanna do this to your backyard, contact Brian. His work is just beautiful. We're so glad that we're, we were able to do this together. Oh my gosh, wow. Okay, so the next step is we are going to paint it because we're not gonna leave it this color, even though you can if you're going for like the natural wood color. I do love this, it's light and airy, but we are actually going to paint it like a charcoal color to match our furniture in our California room and also the exterior of our house. Oh my goodness, I can't believe this. I cannot wait to show Carlos. I'm going to get Carlos's reaction. He just came in from picking up the boys' poo-poo. On the left, Vey. Well, did you see he, he cleaned up the top? Oh, yeah, that's really to good. the right now. The top looks beautiful. Yeah, Brian, it looks great. And then at the end, oh my gosh. Like, me oh, and you would never... He literally carved the wood to the brick wall. Oh dang. Baby, that is like intense. Oh dang. Isn't that crazy? That looks dope. It's so beautiful. I have one hater. I uh, we have a hater. <laughs> so it's three against one. Jocelyn doesn't like it. I, sp I spent like an hour and a half. I wish you were straight. <laughs> no, no, no. I said no, I did not say that. Hey, I like that. That looks really good. I love it, Brian. I think once it's painted. Dude, so Dude what the top, when the border went in, like Brian cleaned it up, it looks so good. Yeah, the brick wall was uneven. So but now this, so as you can see, kind of goes thick. Rocky and it kind before, when you could see the break, you look really good. Oh, yeah. Even though Kim was like, it's okay. Okay, I did not want to put more work on the schedule, you know, Jocelyn? Uh, yeah. <laughs> but I think this looks better. I, like I think it. I just need to even out this gap. Looks so good. Here, let me so show you the wall. Oh my god, you did such a good job. If you guys have a brick wall in your backyard, please do this. Oh my gosh. Yes, the LED light's gonna be hanging right there. Oh my god, look. <laughs> He's like, I've never seen the other world. We just pop in some rice for kicking and crab. Nice. You know what? We're gonna watch Shrek. We love Shrek, you guys. It's funny because I played for her the 
she watched the first one. It's like the only movie that she actually will sit and like watch. Really? Like, really. And the, I remember I played the first one for her, and that's when like Shrek was like screaming, and every time Shrek would scream, she would cry. Oh. <laughs> you wanna watch Tangled? I love Tangled. Coco. Coco. Oh, like she might like it because it has a bunch of colors. Yeah. Oh, that's mine? Yeah. You and Brian said you'll share, right? Yeah. What, what did I get? What? These? Yeah, Amazon. Amazon! Here, babe. Thank you. Let me know if you want more creamer. Dude, yeah? This is so good. The creamer's really strong, so I only do a little bit. Oh my god. You but your husband's chop. Here you go. Chopping wood, chopping wood. Oh, it tastes so much better yesterday with the nugget ice. Oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> next time, next time. I used to have the coffee machine, remember? The Nespresso? Mm-hmm. Dude, but this is so much easier, and, and it's exactly what I like. And I was gonna buy the Nespresso, because I was like, it looks so good, like, it oh. looks so good. Are you a coffee drinker? Like, But I'm not a hardcore coffee drinker. Yeah. And then Brian was like, you're not even gonna take all the extra steps to do all that. Yeah. I know you. Yeah. I literally just buy this at, like, Target, at Target or yeah. whatever. Juju, are you watching Shrek? If you guys are ever wondering if the boys are good with Juju, they are. Riley is not home today, <laughs> as you guys can tell. Riley is with Ted. He's off at his training boarding, so he is not home. And we were doing construction in the backyard, and Riley does not like the sound or just like any of that construction going on. Mm. Yeah? He took it? <laughs> yeah. Why are you drinking a bunch? Oh my oh god. My. She's so into Shrek. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. He wants to play with Juju. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's like, throw it. He's like, throw it, Juju. Throw it. My heart. He's so patient with her. Juju, throw the ball. Throw the ball, Juju. He's like, oh, he gave up. <laughs> Clemmy, why does she always look like hey. popping? She's though? always popping. She's always picture ready. She's like... Having kick and crab. Oh, it looks so good. Look at the kick and crab, you guys. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. The sun is out, you guys, and it's so sunny outside. We just finished lunch. Brian's moving on to the next step. Hello, friend. Hello, hello. What so, are you doing right now? We are obviously with um, tend to sometimes be uneven. On uh huh. The edges, uh, we're just caulking with obviously an exterior um, caulking solution. So uh, we're just basically going in and taking care of the bigger gaps. Okay. So when we spray, the overspray doesn't go and go on the brick. And when you, if there's any reason you take it off, now you have like a section that's painted and it's gonna be. A Oh, okay. Really hard time. I see. Uh, taking that off, so we're just covering that up, and basically we have three here and probably two more spots over there. Okay. But yeah. Um, and then you'll go in and spray paint. And then from there we're gonna start masking everything. Okay. Obviously with uh, airless sprayer you have a lot of overspray. Uh huh. We wanted to just paint this. So yeah. This piece is a quarter inch thick, so you cut a piece, or you have a piece that's the same width, so it runs in there. Oh, okay. You get the same spacing all throughout and then just go in little by little by little until you get it smooth i see and we're getting a darker color 
caulking because we're putting a dark yeah. color. We're gonna spray paint it pretty dark. Inside, we're waiting for cucumbers. Where does the line start? <laughs> Rocky, are you first? No, it's oh, Rocky! Baby, you have to get in line. He Rocky! He's the owner. <laughs> uh, Clem's trying to butt. Okay, you guys, Brian and Carlos are masking the wall because we're gonna spray paint in a little bit. So they're just covering the bottom and the sides so none of the paint gets on the brick or on the side of the fence. This wall is huge. to get the paint off and it wouldn't come off. So at the end we were like... we have anything to keep it down? Oh my god, my new elementary school. Oh. Get under it! Get under it! Oh, can we use it as a wood? Yeah. yeah. Summer rain on the window Watch the time float on Cool it blows a memento As I fall Take apart all the good things Stripped away what's there to do So many times I tried It looks so good! Oh my gosh! I'm gonna clean up the floor, don't worry. <gasps> wow! It's already getting dark, you guys. That's dope. Looks bomb. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <gasps> it looks, really it looks so good. Wow. It's already dark. I'll have to show you guys tomorrow when there's light. But Brian still has to put the LED strip on and then we'll show you guys with the LED strip. Look how in the line he sprayed everything. Do you see that? Yes. Well, that's crazy. Wow. I have to wait for that to go down. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, Brian. Brian. Brian before the party, he's just gonna dust. Dust the wall. That's crazy. 
Good morning, friends. It is the very next day and we are completely done with the wall. So I wanted to come outside and show you guys what it looks like during the day. Let me brighten this up as much as I can. So this is the wall. I cannot believe that we completed this in two days. Yesterday was so crazy. It was, I think we were out here from like 12 to 12. Everything got finished at midnight. And so after I showed you guys the lights, we ended up fixing the lights a little bit because they were looking uneven. So if you guys saw that part where we did like the final thing and we like turn on the lights We ended up fixing the LED lights that you guys know I have at the top It's hard to see because everything's black But we ended up fixing that because the lights were looking uneven and then we adjusted them to make them warmer and then also here at the side of the house, we have Malibu lights that are hardwired. This section is so big. <laughs> and so this is gonna be warm too. So it gives a very nice vibe at night. We'll have to show you guys tonight since everything is completely cleared and clean now. But I feel like it makes the backyard look so modern and so clean and sleek and I love it. This is a close up of the wall here. I just cannot believe it. The reason that I was so excited to film this video and show you guys is if you are doing this at home, it's also removable. Like it's easy to remove. Say if you want to change your mind or maybe you miss the brick wall or you can also change the color really easily. The only part that is basically just attached to the wall are the vertical panelings that I showed you at the beginning when Brian and Carlos was starting the whole entire process. So you just unscrew those and then all the horizontal paneling removes itself and also our wall I forgot to mention this to you guys but our brick wall was separating and we've lived here for a year and a half now and it has separated a whole inch not only that but on the other side of this is a public street and so like little lizards and like I don't know if they're snakes but like tiny little snakes were coming through which is dangerous obviously because we don't know what they carry and we have dogs and then our yard our wall was separated Separating like a whole entire inch. I think I have some pictures I'll insert and then also another reason our wall was like moving it like when you basically like held on to it and kind of shook it a little bit it was moving. Hi baby. There were so many reasons why we just wanted to cover up the wall. We didn't modify the wall. We didn't do anything to the original brick wall. We just basically covered it up but Ooh, it looks look? it looks amazing on screen. Don't mind the poop. And don't mind the poop, there's like a turd right there. But it looks amazing on screen and then in person, like this wall is massive. I think our wall is like 72 feet. 74. Is it 72? I think Brian measured 72. 74. 74? Mm -hmm. It's 74 feet long. So that gives you an idea of how long our backyard is. We don't have like too much like depth. Thank God we have the California room which like goes in a little bit. As you can see, we have this little indoor patio section and it's called the California room. That's what our builder called it. So we do go in a little bit, but we don't have a lot of like room this way, but it's pretty long. And then this section is pretty long as well. Like this is standing from here the boys run back and forth all the time yeah i wanted to show you guys this it was really easy you know to put together and then you can obviously paint it whatever whatever color you guys want and then you can easily remove it as well so this was such a good way to cover up the brick wall because i felt like it was really ruining everything and then like i said we didn't really do anything we didn't modify or reconstruct or change out the brick wall behind this is obviously still the brick wall that our builder or HOA put up. So if you like walk to the other side of the street, you you still see the brick wall. You don't even know that we have like a black cover up on the side. And we're really excited because Carlos's birthday is coming up. It makes it look bigger. Yes. Obviously like black elongates and like makes everything bigger. It's so pretty. Oh, also when Brian was doing the top part, he did not go above the brick wall. We stayed, everything we did stayed within the ranges of the original brick wall because obviously like we didn't want to change how the neighborhood looked like from different angles. And then that completes our backyard. There's nothing else we wanted to do. We got the hardwire lightings. Mm -hmm. We did the wall. We did the turf. I think it's so pretty. Oh, Pushing wait, actually not today, but tomorrow oh, I'm gonna, nice. yes. So imagine this, you guys, not today, but tomorrow. I'm gonna go to Lone's Lowe's <laughs> or Home Depot and I'm gonna find like very modern, big black pots and I'm gonna put them on this side and then I'm gonna put them on that side and I'm gonna find some like succulents or something that don't require a lot of maintenance or water. And I think it's really gonna pull the whole backyard together. So hopefully if I have time, I'll insert a photo into this vlog and show you guys. If not, 
you'll see in the next vlog but I think succulents on both sides would really like pull the whole yard together I just want the yard to be very simple I don't want anything to take up a lot of space because I want the dogs to have room to run around and then we just have like our grill over here and then we need to clean up our California room but we went with a dark color to match the California room because all of our furniture is dark you guys know I got that on Amazon and then this rug on Amazon the fire pit at Target this whole entire table and eight chairs I got on Ikea and the rug I got on Ikea and I don't know if I showed you guys but we had our electrician install a fan at the top of the California room so in the summer we can do Korean barbecue and turn on the fan so everything in this room Oh my god, still so dirty. We didn't get to clean up. Everything in this room matches over here, which is nice. Also, that little trash can thing with the lid, it's from Ikea. I recently just got it last week, and I put all of the boys' outdoor, outdoor toys in there so it doesn't get dusty or dirty. Highly suggest. I love that thing. It's so cute. But yeah, this is what it's looking like. I love it. I don't know if I... We have to clean this up, too. I just love the fact that we do not have a neighbor behind us. So, when we like have parties. And then over here, it's just like this. I don't know if I ever showed you guys over here. So this is the angle of the gate when you walk in. So when we have parties, people usually walk in this side. I'm currently watching Laguna Beach, what is new? <laughs> and cooking the Zupa Toscana soup tonight for dinner. This is the wall at night with the LED strip, as you can see at the top. On the wall, it looks so good. I'm gonna show you guys. Our Malibu lights are off though. We haven't turned those on, but I can show you guys in a little bit. So I'll turn that on because we kept it off. It's so dark. This is our yard. Oh my gosh, it looks so good, you guys. I love it. Wow, I love it so much. Okay, let me walk you back here to turn on the Malibus. Okay. This is the Malibu lights leading to the backyard. Hi, Michelle. <laughs> She's back there. It's so bright over here. I love it. Look at old man. Rocky! Rock a doodle! Rocky, honey! What are you doing? Do you like it? If you guys remember when we first moved in, we did gravel on the side and then realized that the boys did not like potting over here. So we we're like, let's use up all of this space and put cement. And then for our parties, we literally have all the vendors line up right here and it's like the perfect area <laughs> Goofy. i like the lights very nice very very nice you like it baby yeah. it's so good wow it looks really nice i'm gonna send a video to brian we just need to take off those white solar lights on the side because they're on motion so they turn on and then they're too white and it ruins the yellow vibe wow look at that Originally, we did solar lights on the side, if you guys remember, but what happened was the sun was not hitting it because it was on the right side. So we ended up paying the electrician that did the LED and the hardwire to hardwire lights on the side. So now we don't have to worry about it. I think eventually we'll probably hardwire the front lights too. But lighting really changes the way that a backyard looks. Hello, friends! Today is 
I think today's Monday. Yes, today is Monday. So Brian and Jocelyn left Saturday night. And so it's been like a few days and we have noticed a few things that we wanted to tell you guys about the wall. And I'm so glad actually that this has happened to us because one, it's gonna save you guys a lot of money whenever you do this project at home. And two, I'm glad that we caught it earlier in the pro in the journey rather than later on years from now. Because I think if we would have waited any longer, we might have had to like change out the wood possibly. Possibly, but I'm glad that we caught on to it pretty early So I'm gonna show you guys what exactly is going on right now So you guys if you guys end up doing this at home You don't have to make the same mistake that Carlos and I did we definitely have learned so much in this whole process So I definitely wanted to share it with you guys do not mind our house. I think it's a mess I have to do the dishes. I'm making a quick sandwich for lunch. We have the nugget ice machine running Jocelyn and Brian are on their way So I'm gonna make them a cup of coffee, but we are actually painting the wall beige I know a lot of you right now are gonna be like what the heck is she thinking the black wall looks amazing I know I've been showing the black wall and you guys it's what I imagined however let me tell you guys what we first let me tell you the color that we're gonna paint it so we're painting it this color this is I got it at Lowe's it's called ivory lace and it's by this brand here so this is the color that we are painting our wall so let me explain now why we're painting it I'm gonna have to show you Riley's so tired. He has to go to the vet tomorrow. I'm not too sure what happened with his front two paws, but he is pretty tired. So we set up, we called our vet instantly and we're, he's going in the morning. He's napping and then we have these boys right here. But let me go outside and show you guys what's going on. Okay, so here is our wall during the day. Carlos is cleaning the backyard right now, but I don't know if you guys can tell, but the wood that we got has texture on it. So there's like, I don't know if you, oh, it's kind of hard to see. I might just post like a photo. I will probably post a photo so you guys have a better idea. But our wood has texture on it right here, as you can see. So during the day, it looks very dirty and completely scratched up. And then also, I don't know if you guys can see, but water marks and then dust and everything is sticking to it. So we learned about this pretty early on. Everything honestly looked okay after the pain, but then letting it sit for like a day or two, you definitely start seeing all the scratches. I don't, it's so hard to see on camera. So I'll definitely insert those photos for you. So we are actually going to paint the wall today. We are going to match it to the fence here. So the color that is going up is gonna be brighter. I think it's also going to brighten up the backyard, maybe make it look bigger. And then also, you guys know that we have an LED light strip at the top. I think once the LED light strip is on the new beige color, it's going to be much brighter as well. So that is what we are doing. It's quite hot today. Carlos is clean. It's hot. <laughs> look how happy he is, oh my gosh. I like spray water on Oh my goodness. This whole journey has been such a learning process for us. We have learned so much. It's been a lot of trial and error and figuring out what works and what doesn't work, which I'm glad that you guys get to watch this whole journey, see our mistakes, see what works and doesn't work. It's gonna save you guys a lot of money when you do this at home. The process I would say is fairly easy, but you do need someone handy. And then when it comes to the paint, just, I would say black is not a bad, dis Black is not a bad option. I don't want you guys to like be like, oh, I shouldn't do black because Kim's black wall didn't work out. Let me explain to you. If we have the budget for better wood, I would do black because the wood that's like on our island, it's completely matte. It doesn't have texture. It doesn't have character to it. Everything is completely flat. So obviously the black paint is gonna lay on it really nicely. But Carlos and I didn't have the budget for really nice wood without any texture. So when the black paint gets on the wood, obviously, you're gonna see all the texture, you're gonna see the rough spots, and then also we had to do a satin finish because it's exterior, we're putting it outdoors, and then you know we have the dogs, and then we have water, we have rain, we have different weather. We couldn't do matte because matte paint gets scratched up really easily, and then over time it also might fade. So there was just so many pros and cons to everything, and I really did think that we covered everything. I remember like sitting down with Brian and going over what paint would work, what you know, what we can do for our budget, and and our budget was pretty big, but not big enough to get really nice paneling. Ooh, my, my bread is done. But our budget wasn't big enough to get really nice panels that was completely flat, no texture on the, on the wood pieces. So second choice, plan B, was to go beige. And actually, Brian actually suggested to go beige because I didn't love the LED lights 
on the black as much we did end up fixing it a little bit but then now that i'm seeing the black walls getting dirty and stuff so oh my goodness you guys it if you guys have ever remodeled your home or done anything like that it sucks but it's a learning process so anywho we are painting the wall beige today so i'll i'll, I'll show you guys in a little bit the process of that kim Tai is watching the show again again <laughs> again and she's making water. strawberry milk water yeah yeah I'm so excited. So right now she's blending. She's gonna blend the strawberry berries. We got Cape over here who's very interested in what's going on right now. And now we got Old Man coming. Oh, it's Koopy. And Old Man. They're wondering if they can by any chance possibly have anything that you could possibly toss them. Maybe. They said they don't like that answer. <laughs> Making strawberry milk. Yeah, strawberry milk. <laughs> what? I have my tongue got twisted. Did you show them last time when you made it? No, because I, I like whipped it real quick. So she's gonna blend the strawberries and then you add a little bit of milk, right? Yeah, baby. You add the milk and then you add condensed milk. That's my favorite brand of condensed milk. A longevity brand. I love condensed milk. I'm not a huge fan. I can only eat it with bananas, like the fried bananas. So in goes the milk. Short. Get a little stepping stool. I think I need one, babe. I'm not even kidding. I know like, you. I, you think I'm joking, but no, I'm not. I know you're not like, joking. I'm, I'm struggling. I know you need one. I've been telling you to get one and then slide it in between the the fridge. Ooh. Hi, baby. Oh man. Nice. Why are these very tired? She's gonna open the condensed milk. I bought this so I can make uh, homemade tortillas. The roller? <laughs> nice. Don't cut yourself, please. I'm not. Pee <laughs> I love condensed milk. It's not that great. It's so good. Okay, so last time I put sugar and condensed milk and it was really good but too sweet. I think you need to either tone it down. I think the. I'm just doing condensed today. Yeah, but I think the condensed milk is sweeter than the actual sugar. So I don't. So I think you shouldn't add too much. No, I think that I think one can of condensed is good, baby. One can. Yeah. For this amount. Well, we have more strawberries. Oh, one can's a lot, babe. All right, we'll see. Yeah. See, so like, okay. <laughs> it's a lot. Do you guys eat condensed milk with bread? Yeah, I've heard people do that. I don't know. Well, I know people eat condensed milk with like Eggos and pancakes Have and you ever stuff. put it in your coffee? See, I'm okay with in coffee because it'll just like mix with it. I can't eat it. I'm telling you, the only way that I can eat it is with the fried bananas and, and even then it has to be a little bit. But like eating it like that, I can't do it. That was so good. All right, we'll be back when we have served ourselves a little uh, cup. Bye. Ooh, ice. Ice. Nice. Hey, that was actually pretty fast. I like the spice because it's not too hard. Mm-hmm, you can chew it. You can chew it. Oh, the ice. The ice. Oh, snap. Uh-oh, I wasn't thinking. Ooh! Looks good, get in a blood shot. <laughs> uh, this isn't like the right way to do it. No, this so is- don't come for me. This is really good, you guys, though. This is actually really good. I already tried it. It's pretty bomb. I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, this isn't like the straight up strawberry milk. Yeah, I'm agua. not saying this is the right way. Yeah, it's not the strawberry milk go fresca way and stuff, but- But it could be if you wanted it to. But it's really good, though. Like if you just had strawberries lying around and you just wanted to make use of your milk, you know? Mm. That's bomb. Is it? Can I try? Mm-hmm. That's good, right? No more. I don't think it needs more sugar or anything. I think it's good. Really? Yeah. The last one was better, no? No, I think the last one was too sweet. This is actually just, like, perfect. I think it's good. No? <laughs> I think it's good. I don't think it needs anything. Really? Yeah. The last one was so, like, creamy. You think I did something wrong? I don't think so. I just, I honestly think More sugar? No, I think it's good. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Juju. Here's a little play set. We're prepping. We're taking the LED strips off and gonna we're gonna paint the wall. Wow.
Wow. Wow. <gasps> wow. Cutie patootie. Juju, look. Wow, Juju. <gasps> Juju. <gasps> oh. Watch the time float on Cool air blows a memento As I fall Everybody agrees that yeah. we should have done. That's way better. Mm -hmm. We should have done the beige. We should have. We should have done the beige. You live and you learn. Yeah. You live and you learn. We should have done the beige. <laughs> no, it looks really good. We should have done the beige first, you guys. And we were even saying it the other night. <laughs> I know, but what were we gonna do, right? At like 11 o'clock at night. Like, let's just start creating it. You guys, we were see? We broke our fingers. <laughs> yeah. this, in. I know. this is how it's supposed to look like. Look how bright the LED oh. is. It lights it up the whole yard. It lights up the whole entire yard. We don't even need any other lights. We do have like these Malibu lights on the side here. I'll yeah. Turn these off so you can kind of see. But this is how bright it's supposed to be. But obviously, we would only turn this off. LED strip on for parties. We wouldn't use it every day because we have other external lights. Oh my goodness, it looks so much better in beige. It makes the backyard look bigger. The beige isn't showing all the texture. And then with the lights on the beige color, it's so bright back here. Holy shit, babe. Our backyard is bright. Yeah, that looks good. This is gonna be amazing for parties. We've come a long way. We had no lights for the housewarming party last year. I know. <laughs> we literally had to bring one of your filming lights out. This is amazing. I'm so happy. The beige was the way to go. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like in the morning. And it just, it, like, it doesn't seem out of place either. No, it like the blends black, in with black, our neighbors. The black just kind of like, it just, just kind of seemed out of place a little bit. Yeah, the beige blends in with like the side fences and then our neighbors and stuff, so. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at the wall. I have the hiccups. Wanted to show you guys the wall during the day. It's so pretty. I love it, I have the hiccups. You don't see any of the marks anymore, babe. No, it looks really good. Looks great. Yeah. I love this color. This is also a really pretty color for like a kitchen cabinet, you guys. Makes our yard look bigger too. And brightens up the yard. I don't know if you guys can see, but I was standing here in the kitchen. I have to put the dishes away. <laughs> These are clean. Don't mind them. I just made Carlos and I some quick scramble eggs. Carlos is taking Riley to the vet, and I'm going to my nail appointment because I literally ripped off all of my nails last week, so it's time for a full set, and the three littles will stay home, so that's why the curtains are up because old man has a tendency to pee on the curtains every time we're not home, and I don't know why, so we have to put all the curtains up. Riley has been limping and I'm not too sure what is going on and he's been very low energy so we just want to take him to the vet and see what's been going on so Carlos is in the shower he's gonna take the boy uh, take Riley and then the boys will stay home I just made myself some coffee but as I was standing here and looking out into the backyard I am just blown away how beautiful it is that we painted the wall beige it literally goes with the inside of the house it doesn't feel like out of place I felt like the black was so beautiful if it didn't had if, if we didn't go with the wood that had texture so I'm so glad that that happened and we went with beige because I am completely obsessed I think it was like a blessing in disguise you guys because when you look out now the beige wall brightens up the backyard But also matches with our interior and it's so beautiful and it looks so clean and sleek out there We still need to clean up all of those things. It's been a pretty long couple of days But we're so thankful that we got a chance to do this with Jocelyn and Brian. They are amazing If you guys are interested, I'll post their information down below. They literally can 
can build anything and I'm not even kidding they will find a way to build it for you so if you are looking for a piece of furniture or you're looking to remodel your home and you don't know where to start they're amazing but it looks Oh my gosh, like look how good that looks. It looks so much better than looking at the brick wall. Oh my gosh, I love it. And one thing I do love about it that I keep mentioning is if we have to take it off, I change my mind or whatever it is, which I'm not gonna change, change my mind, I love it so much. You can just easily unscrew everything and just take it off because behind this is the brick wall. So I love it, like that's what our brick wall used to look like. And now it's all bright and beautiful. Wow, I love it so much. It's gonna be so good for Carlos's birthday party. I'm gonna clean up around the house today because our house is a mess. I know some people are like, Kim, your house is not messy. And it's like, mm. Like, I just have like little knickknacks everywhere. I want to tidy up the blanket. Oh my gosh. I hate when Riley's low energy. It makes me so sad. I really hope nothing's wrong. But that is the plan for today. 